latitudes and longitudes the shortest distance we're going to look at the shortest distance along the parallel of latitudes that is uh, along the small circle we can call this one parallel of latitudes or the small circle and also along the great circle so how do we calculate the shortest distance along the parallel of latitudes and along the great circle now we start with um, the shortest distance along the parallel of latitudes the parallel of latitudes as i've said you can refer to this distance as distance along the small circle we are going to use this example that is here find the distance between places x which is 20 degrees north 20 degrees west and y 20 degrees north 10 degrees east these places x and y are located along the small circle or along the parallel of latitude so how do we solve these how do we get this distance now there are two distances along the parallel of latitude and i'm going to illustrate that one using this diagram here i want you to look at x plus x and plus y you can see you can use uh, two routes there's a shorter distance that you can follow along that parallel of latitude from x to y you can see that eh? and then there is the longer distance the longer distance is the one that circulates all the way around eh? and um, i can create the center uh, let's say this is the center this is the center of the small circle this one being the center of that small circle this angle that is here we call this theta that is the longitude difference so now after identifying from that diagram the two distances the shorter distance and the longer distance let's go to the working and we see how do we calculate the shorter distance the shorter distance is the one that begins from here to here how do we get that so distance in nautical miles you get it by this is the formula 60 theta cosine of alpha 60 multiplied by theta multiplied by cosine of alpha where theta is the longitude difference in this diagram theta is there that is the longitude difference and then alpha is the latitude angle when you look at these places x and y they are lying on the same latitude that is 20 degrees north then on different longitudes 20 degrees west 10 degrees east so that is the formula so we start by getting the longitude difference how do we get the longitude difference uh, the longitudes are here we have 20 degrees west and 10 degrees east to get the longitude difference when you have one place to the east and the other one to the west we add so longitude difference will be given by 20 plus 10 which will give you 30. so therefore the distance in nautical mile this formula is very important along the small circle 60 multiply by theta which is the longitude difference times cosine of the latitude angle the latitude angle is 20 and that one will give you 1691.4 nautical mile maybe let's assume you had been asked to calculate that distance in kilometers how do you do that there's a way you can convert you can always convert uh, nautical miles to kilometers and we say one nautical mile is equals to 1.853 kilometers so if you want to give this distance in kilometers you can simply use this one to convert if one nautical mile is equals to 1.853 kilometers what about 1691.4 you just convert it now that is how we calculate the the shorter distance now let's go to the other one now the longer distance along the same parallel of latitude how do we get that now we got already the longitude difference to be 30 but now because we are using the longer route we are going to use this angle we are not going to use the 30 as the longitude difference we shall use the remaining angle that is here and that one will be 300 and 30 because theta was 30 degrees so the remaining angle along this uh, longer route will be 330 and how do we get that 
we simply take 360 we take 360 subtract 30 of longitude and that is the angle difference um, along that longer route so therefore when you're getting the distance uh, along this route we shall use 330 but not 30 so the formula remains to be the same 60 theta cosine of alpha so 60 times uh, 330 times cosine of the latitude angle that one will give you 18,605.9 you can see this one is uh, longer uh, if you compare it with the other one the other one was a 1691 that is a shorter route this one is giving uh, 18605 again if you want to convert this one to kilometers you can simply use this formula one nautical mile is equals to 1.853 kilometers so what about uh, 18605 you just multiply and you get the answer in kilometer so that is basically how you calculate the distances the longer distance and the shorter distance along the parallel of latitude now let's go to the other concept the other concept now is the shortest distance along the great circle now the other one we just looked at was along the parallel of latitude what about the shortest distance along the great circle this is a formula that we use uh, that is in nautical miles or to get this distance along the great circle is 60 theta where theta is the longitude difference and there's something important you need to note here that questions of this type usually feature points that are 180 180 of longitude apart e.g along if we say one point is uh, along the longitude 20 degrees east and the other one along 160 degrees west you can see when you get the longitude difference it will sum up to 180 so we are going to start with this kind of scenario where we have one point being uh, let's say 10 degrees the other one is 170 okay that the points are usually 180 degrees of longitude apart that difference from 20 degrees east 160 degrees west um, that difference is 180 a very good example is here find the shortest distance between point a which is uh, 40 degrees north 20 degrees east and b 40 degrees north 160 degrees west so you can see these points a and b are lying on the same latitude but when you look at um, the longitudes the longitudes are 180 apart that is 20 degrees east 160 degrees west so how do you get the distance in nautical miles we start with nautical miles we say the formula is 60 multiplied by theta so 60 multiplied by 100 so where did they get 100 degrees because now you can't get the the angle differences the longitude differences 20 plus 160 you don't get that so there's a diagram here to explain that so when you draw these um, places and you locate them along the globe both of them are 40 degrees north both of them are 40 degrees north so a and b so the angle between them therefore you know this one is a straight line so the angle between them will be 100 so you simply get a 180 subtract 80 that is 40 a plus 40 so the angle between them eh, that is along the great circle you know this is the center this is the center of the earth so the angle between them is 100 you've understood how we've got 100 eh? so 100 is there because of this side 40 degrees this side is 40 and this is a straight line so the sum should be 180 all right so that is how we get 100 degrees that is what you're going to use the longitude difference so you multiply 60 times 100 you get 6000 nautical miles how do you get the distance along the great circle in kilometers along the great circle in kilometers this is how we get it theta over 360 times 2 pi r where r is the radius of the earth which is always given as 370 kilometers and uh, theta is the longitude difference we have already established that the angle between them 
that is the longitude difference is 100 so it will be 100 over 360 times 2 pi r and that one gives you 11,122.2 so that is basically how you get the shortest distance between those two points both in nautical miles and in kilometer that is along the great circle now there is this question that now you need to pay attention um, suppose now uh, these points that you are looking at they are not 180 degrees apart like for this one you saw this one was 20 degrees east 160 degrees west you can see they are 180 apart suppose you get a question of this nature look at, let us look at this example point a and b lie on a parallel of latitude uh, these are along the the small circle eh? these are along the small circle and both of them are 40 degrees north the two points lie on the longitudes one is 20 degrees west and the other one is 100 degrees east so you can see they are not uh, 180 degrees apart you see that eh? so calculate the shortest distance you see the question here the two points are lying on the parallel of latitudes or the small circle because they are lying on 40 degrees north that is the latitude 40 degrees north but when it comes to the question you are supposed to calculate the shortest distance between a and b along the great circle along the great circle so what do you mean by that i'll explain to you so you're supposed to take the radius is 6370 and uh, pi to be 22 over 7. let's go to the solution i've begun by drawing uh, the sketch showing the position so the two places are 40 degrees north so you have uh, point a is there point b is there one is 20 degrees west the other one is 100 degrees this is just a sketch now as you can see we want to get that distance along the great circle now along the great circle means from a you pass through the north pole okay you can see the north pole eh? so from a it will be the distance along or distance via the north pole that is what we mean via the great circle so you shall move from a through the north pole Let me show you so from a through the north pole and then to to b that arc you can see that arc eh? that arc is what you're going to follow so from a via the north pole to b that is what we mean by distance along the the grid circle so here i have created two centers eh? one center is uh, the one you can see there is an angle there theta that is a center along the small circle is here the center along the small circle and then there is this center along the great circle the angle here where we have the great circle the angle at the great circle is better i've indicated that one is better the angle at the small circle is theta so to get that distance this is the easiest way there are two ways but this is the easiest way to get that distance we use this formula sine of a half beta you can see better in the diagram is equals to sine of half theta multiplied by cosine of alpha where beta is the angle at the center of the earth beta is the angle at the center of the earth there and then theta is the longitude difference between these two places a and b and then alpha alpha is the latitude angle like in this case the latitude angle is 40 so beta is the angle at the center of the earth there's along the great circle uh, theta is the longitude difference so we can even get uh, the longitude difference very fast longitude difference is going to be obtained by if you go to the question 20 degrees east the other one is uh, 100 degrees this is 20 degrees west and 100 degrees east so the longitude difference there you add it will be 100 plus 20 which is 120 so therefore theta is 120 now substitute these now what you'll be looking for is this angle at the center this is what we don't have 
better the angle at the center when you get the angle at the center now it will be possible to work out the length of this arc from a to the north pole then to to b so sine of a half beta is equals to sine of a half theta cosine of alpha so sine of a half beta is equals to sine of a half theta theta is the longitude difference which is here we got that on as 120 substituted there then multiply by cosine of alpha cosine of alpha alpha is uh, 40 we said alpha is the latitude angle they lie on 40 degrees north so the latitude angle is 40 degrees um, you proceed sine of alpha beta uh, sine of half beta is equals to sine 60 cosine of 40 when you work out this using a calculator sine 60 cosine of 40 you get 0 0.663414 so you can see that in this equation you will be able to get um, better so if you want to get better you get simply get the sine inverse of both sides sine inverse of sine half beta you remain with half beta sine in sine inverse of 0 0.663414 you get 41.56 and um beta will be 41.56 times 2 and that will give 83.1 so 83.12 is this angle that is here the angle at the center here you see that now eh? so that is what you look for using this formula now after getting that angle at the center of the earth now we can employ this formula now to get the distance because this one is simply an arc this one is an arc from a to north pole to b that one is the length of the arc and the angle at the center we've got it as 83.12 so distance in kilometer along the great circle or via the north pole is given by beta over 360 2 pi r so distance is equals to beta we got it as 83.12 this is uh, the angle here at the center and then um, divided by 360 multiply by 2 times 22 over 7 times the radius of the earth and that will give you 9,244.8 and that is simply how you get the shortest distance along the parallel of latitude and along the great circle.